Uh, it's obviously not the result you were after today. What do you think you'd put it down to? Mm. Oh, it's probably a couple of things. I thought after, no, I thought thought after no, the first quarter that the game was pretty even. I thought both teams had momentum. Both teams probably missed um, shots on goal that they generally kick. Um, look, I, I think um, both teams had enough of the ball in the first quarter. I just think Glenorchy were more polished. Um, I, th- I think we probably chose the wrong option a couple of times, and our skill execution probably cost us. And they opened up it. Uh, opens up a little bit on transition. So, uh, look, disappointing day. I thought it was a real finals type game. A lot of contested ball. Ball went down the line a lot. So, I think as a coaching group, we learn a fair bit, but also as a playing group, I think we learn, you know, a little bit today. Would well, there be any risk of saying the players were complacent at all? Uh, no, I thought they. Were, I thought they had a dip today. Um, as I said, it was just a really red hot game. Glenorchy, you know, have got their full list back now and they've played a couple of weeks together and they're you know, a red hot team. Um, we knew that going in. Um, I thought you know, even the intensity in the first quarter was, was really good from our guys. I just thought it was a bit of skill execution and we probably opened ourselves up defensively off the back of that. So after that I think it was 28 points at quarter time and I think we went down by 23 or 24. So quite, a, quite an even game um, after quarter time. It must give you a bit of confidence the way the boys were able to run out that last quarter as well and get a good few goals towards the end. Yeah, look, I thought they, they fought out the game really, really well. Um, but in saying that, so did Lenorke. I think the game opened up. I think we kicked 6-2 to maybe 5-2 in the last. So um, the game opened up a little bit. Um, but look, full credit to Glenorchy. They came here, they really hunted us. They closed down our transition footy, um, which we've, we've been able to get sides with. So uh, we need to you know, watch the tape. Learn from that, um, but I just thought it was a really good game of, you know, TSL footy, really good sort of contest. I thought it was finals like, so um, the players will take a lot out of that for next week. Who particularly impressed you from your guys today? Oh, I thought Jackson O'Brien was probably back to his best today. I thought he was pretty quiet last week. I put it on him before the game. I think he had eight or nine clearances today, so he was he was probably, you know, pretty good. I thought. Tim Castle did a pretty good job on Gunther. Um, obviously, Gunther's, you know, an emerging talent. I think there's talk of him getting drafted. So TC did a fantastic job today. Um, so they're probably the two guys that I was impressed with today. Jake Cox didn't quite get up. No, no close, Cox he? didn't quite get up. He was, he was never going to play the GD on his truth. So he'll definitely play next week. Um, he's been training for two weeks, yeah. but I can guarantee you that he'll play next week unless something happens at training this week. So big game against Hobart City, Demons next week, and then Derny the week after. Is it much yeah, yeah, big game. game. So then we've got North Lonnie after that as well. So look, um, Hobart City were able to open us up on transition and give us over the back on um, the first time we played them out here. Um, so we need to close those guys down. I reckon this game today will really help us. Um, as I said before, I thought it was a pretty high quality TSL game. So um, you know, we we'll to take that momentum into next week, um, bring some real intensity around the game, and um, you know, get the four points, and then we move on to two pretty big games in Burnie and North Manchester. Any injuries to report from today? Yeah, uh, Keegan Wiley's got a bit of a rolled ankle, and so is. Uh, Master Carlo, but they should be both fine. Um, just to get some ice on them and, and strap them up ready for next week. So that was a pretty um, pretty crucial game in terms of the season for your, your team today. You're pretty pleased to get a result like that against such a high quality opposition. Yeah, look, um, Clarence will be every team in great form and they're hard to beat, doesn't matter whether it's home or away this season. So, yeah, look, good to get the four points, but we understand where both lists were at, and um, yeah, look, we let goals late, but uh, I thought it was very polished. I thought the way we brought in the first quarter was very pleasing. Our pressure, uh, ability to score, but uh, look, it was even scoring amount of shots at half time. We understand where we, where we were, and we needed to respond in the third quarter. What do you think it was that got you over the line in the end? Oh, I think the way we built the game from the first quarter, and um, in the end, we gave ourselves a, a bit of a lead and able to hold off some charges, but. Um, yeah, look, I thought the pressure and the way the guys responded in the first quarter understood that um, you know it was going to be a tough contest and they and they certainly were prepared today. You know, pretty huge, two huge games coming up the next two weeks against uh, North Launceston and Lauderdale. Uh, I know the earlier in the year those are the three games that you did drop at home. Uh, you must take a fair bit of confidence out of today going into those two matches. Um, look, it's uh, I know it's a cliche, but it is week in week out for us at the moment. North Launceston are very. Very, uh, very good side and a very good home. You know, noticed Taylor Wiffin in the grandstand today, obviously doing his homework and I'm sure on both teams, but um, you know, they won't take us lightly and we certainly won't take them lightly. It's been a great rivalry over the last couple of years and um, you know, both teams will be uh, going to battle this Saturday. Who particularly impressed you today from your team? Um, look, there was some great individual performance. I thought James Webb was really good early in the game. I thought Zach Ashton Cole's pressure. 
John Geard's clearances. Ben Cameron's got I thought Liam Smith had a much better game today. I thought Josh Watson set the pass really good. Bruce Mock ball use. Braden Webb yeah, in the middle was really good. Um, you know, there's still some room improvements in guys, but uh, I think there's some great individual performances. Were you concerned at all with uh, the last quarter, Clarence coming back a little bit and kicking a few goals towards the end? Is that any any concern for you? Ah, uh, look, it's disappointing in red time footy that they did kick those goals, but um, you know, we will be able to stop that a lot lot sooner. But um, yeah, I think that uh, in the end, it was good credit to those guys. And you know, they were always going to come in the last quarter, and they managed to score quickly. Any injuries from the game today? Nah, no injuries. Which so is good. And uh, how close was Jay to playing? Today? Yeah, look, Jay was a was a late. Um, Late uh, player to pull out, so um, it's just about managing him rather than have you know, four or five week injury. Um, yeah. Just make sure we'll be able to give him rest now and hopefully be right um, next week to play.